Hey, welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be a short one. Um, yesterday's was a long one about um, templates and passing values between Kivi and Python. And we will build on that knowledge today to introduce a little bit more functionality using an if statement. So not an if statement in Python, but an if statement in your Kivi file. Have a look. In our backup app that we showed in the previous videos, we actually use the if statement to switch between two screens or to choose between two screens. But in our previous video, we've shown you a better way of doing that. So, so I've come up with this small app just to show you how an if statement can be used in Kivi. So this small app has a start screen where you select one of the two buttons. If you click red, then the next screen will be red and it will tell you so you select it red. You can go back to the home screen if you click the blue button it will show you a blue screen. So pretty pointless, but this is what we will use to um, show you how the if statement works in Kivi. So to build our little app, I've already set up the main structure, which you will be familiar with by now. I have a main screen class, which inherits from screen. I then have a color screen, which also inherits from screen. And I'm using this color screen as a template. My second screen was going to be either red or blue. So I'm going to capture this value in a string property, a Givy string property, as we have seen in the previous video. And I call that color selection. Now from this template, I'm going to create two children, one for the red screen called red screen, and it inherits from color screen, and one for the blue screen that also inherits from color screen. And what I then do is I give the color selection property, which is inherited from color screen. I give that the value red in case of the red screen, and I give that the value blue in case of the blue screen. So that's all pretty straightforward. If you are unfamiliar with this, please check out the previous video where we talked about templates and passing values between Kivi and Python. So, on the Kivi side, I have my main screen, which is just a label and two buttons. And then I have a color screen with a label and a button to go back to the main screen. And then here I have the background color, which where later we will be using the if statement. Now to go back to the main screen in this button, again, we touched on this before, but um, the screen manager is the root of my app. So when I call app.root, I'm in screen manager, and I then use current to switch to the main screen. Now, what is the main screen? The main screen is this one here, which is of course the main screen. And in my screen manager, I then have a red screen and a blue screen as appropriate. So now let's implement the on release functionality of the button. So what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to write a function in the main screen class in Python. So in here, I will write a function that will allow us to switch to either the red screen or the blue screen, depending on which button was clicked. So if the red button is clicked, button red, then I want to switch to the red one. If not, if it's this one, I want to switch to the blue screen. So how do I do this? Well, I'm going to create a function in main screen, therefore main screen being the root of my button. So I can call root and I'm going to call that function button clicked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass to this function a value that tells me whether it was the red button or the blue button that was clicked. And I'm going to use a named variable called cell. I just made that up. And in that variable, I'm going to pass the value red because this is the red button. Of course, I do the same thing for the blue button, but then I call it blue. Right, so what I now need to do is clearly build this function in main screen. So let's do that. It was called, what did I call it? Oh, button clicked. And I'm going to pass along the args and args even, args and quags, okay. And now this should be simple enough because all I want to do is I want to say, well, if cell, which is this value I'll pass through here, if that equals red, then I want to switch to the red screen. 
then how do you switch to the red screen? Well, it's the same logic as we used down here to switch to the main screen. You go to the app, then to the root of the app, which brings you to the screen manager here and then you change the current screen. So what I will do, I will call app, then there's a function called get running app, and we've touched on this in previous videos as well, so please go visit that if this is going too quickly for you at the moment. That gives me the app, and I need to go to the root, because that is my screen manager. And once I'm in the screen manager, I can switch the current screen to um, red, screen. And where does red screen come from? That is the name used here, red screen. Okay. Now, if not, then it is blue because there were only two buttons and then I'm going to do the exact same thing. So from the app, get that, which brings me, that's the app. And then take the root of that, which is the screen manager and then current, I set that to the blue screen. Okay, now if you were paying attention, you will realize this isn't going to work because there's a red squiggly line here and this will say that there's an invalid reference. Why is there an invalid reference? Um, because we used cell here, so why does it not recognize that? Well, it's because there's no cell in here. Okay, so this is a this is a local variable to this function, and it doesn't know where this is coming from. Now we know it sits in quarks, right? Which is the dictionary that reads the named variables. So all we need to do is extract it from this dictionary. So instead of referring to it as cell, we can just refer to it as the um, element of the quarks dictionary. So how do you do that? Well, the value I want is from the key with name cell. Okay, and that's how you extract that. And if that then equals red, then it should work. So let's have a go and see um, whether this works. It will work partly, by the way, not fully. So yep, you have your screen. You have a red button and a blue button. I didn't color the buttons. I just put red or blue on it. If I click red, hey, it gives me a red screen. Now, don't be fooled because this is not actually working it's because red is the default value if I click blue it will still give me red so why is that happening well let's have a look in the Kivi file if I look at the background color of my color screen here my default value is red whatever I click this is always going to be red uh, this is of course where I want to put in the if statement which looks at the selected color or which looked at which button was clicked, the blue or the red button. So how does an if statement work in Kivi? Well, this is the format. Give me something, fx, something, if the condition is true, else, give me something else. So what I'm going to say is, well, give me red if the button that I clicked was red, else give me blue. So the condition is, well, something, um, else, give me blue blue is oh, no definitely not 10 that's that now I need to know what this something is well and this is where this variable comes in because remember we are storing red or blue in the children okay so we look at color screen that's the root of this um, canvas so therefore that applies to red screen and blue screen, which have this property color selection, which is either red or blue. So I can just use that property. So here I can go to the root of my canvas, which is color screen. And then the property is called color selection. Now, if that equals red, then I get red else I get blue. Okay, and the last thing to add is we had a label that confirmed our selection. So whether we selected red or blue, so that's just a text string. We'll just use this same text string. So there you go. Let's see how far we got. That still works. Red still gives me red, and now it does say red. Okay, and that is because we've now pulled through that value in here. Let me just move this aside. That's this label here. 
If I go back, go back to the main screen, if I click blue, then I get blue because then this root color selection the equals equals red does not hold true because it's blue and therefore it will give me blue. Okay, so the root dot color selections equals red does not hold true and therefore it goes to the else leg and it gives me blue. So that was a very quick um, example of how to use a statement in Kivi. If you found that useful or helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel or like the video or leave a comment. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.